people really think that palettes are made like overnight. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another look with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea High Tides and Good Vibes palette. I wanted to do another look with this palette since the first one I did, it was kind of like a impromptu, didn't really know what I was doing. So I wanted to give the palette another try and try to make a new look with it. I also wanted to try the different glitter shades in the middle. So without delaying any further, let's get into another look. So in between filming my first impressions video and then filming this video, I did use the palette one more time. I did a more natural everyday look with a lot of the pink shades up here and it was nice. It just didn't really scream anything like, wow, that's something I definitely could not have gotten from another palette, you know? So I just wanted to try another look today. I want to do a little bit more of a warm tone look today since it's getting a little bit warmer out, even though today was a little bit chillier than the other days. But it's getting warmer, it's starting to look a little bit and feel a little bit more like spring. So I think I'm going to play with more of these warm tone pinks here and then maybe add a pop of gold. To start off the crease, I'm just going to go into Beach Therapy, which is this shade right here. It's going to tap in here and start building up this color in the crease. I did mention in my first video that these shades are very dusty, so I think that that comes with some positives and some negatives. Oh, of course, that means that these shades are going to blend really well, but I just feel like it gets a little messy in the pan. I tend to be a little bit more careful now when I'm dipping in, not being as sloppy, but I think that if you like this palette, that's something that you can definitely work around. So I'm just going to warm up the crease with this and kind of blend it. And once I don't have a lot of product, I'm going to blend it up to the brow ever so slightly. I do really like this shade for the crease. I'm taking this on a MAC 224 brush, by the way, if you're wondering. Alright, so... We have that there. Let me zoom you on up so you can see a little bit better. And I want to do a little bit more of like a pinky crease so I can lay down this metallic color more on the lid. So let me take a little bit smaller tapered blending brush. This is the Morphe blending brush that was in the All I Want kit. So I'm just going to dip this into South Beach, which is a shade right here. Just going to tap that in and then work this a little bit below the crease, making sure to try to keep it a little bit underneath and then towards the outer third. There's been a lot of drama with Tarte palettes and the Jeffree Star Blue Blood palette. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below what is with that drama. I feel like People really think that palettes are made like overnight. People see that someone like Jeffree Star is coming out with a palette and then all of a sudden they can pop up a new palette two days later. I think the timing was just really horrible and I kind of feel bad that it kind of had to be that way, but such is the beauty business, I guess. I still think it's really fun to see a lot of people experimenting with colors and putting more blues on their lids. I still think back to my dance recital days when my mom would put blue eyeshadow, hot pink blush, and red lipstick on my face for dance recitals and I thought it was so funny. But now it's trendy and I think that just goes to show how trends can just kind of recycle and they come back a little bit different but still same themes, same blue eyeshadow on your lid. But now we add a little bit more glitter and sometimes we add a little bit more dimension than just popping up like a giant blue streak on your lid but i think it's just it's cool to just kind of see the how the fashions of the trends cycle okay so we have that in the lid and then you can see it turned a little bit pinkier and now on a flatter brush that was also in the all i want morphe brush kit i'm going to take the shade galapagos which is this like brown i don't know it's hard it's like a it's like a brown metallic, but it has like some slight gold or pink reflex. I can't really tell. I'm really, I'm like the worst at trying to tell between what reflex are, what the base are. I'm just going to take this on a brush 
and then put this all over the lid so that I can prep it for some glitter topper. So I'm just being really careful to keep this on the lid, making sure we don't blend it up too high since we don't want a shimmer in the crease. All right, so now we have this kind of like smoky metallic pink look going on. I'm kind of really digging the way it's looking. Before we pop the glitter topper on top, I just want to go back to our MAC 224 brush, go back into the Beach Therapy shade, which is that shade, and just kind of bring this transition shade a little bit higher above the crease. I feel like I lost it a little bit, so I just want to build that up again. And I'm going super gently over top. I just want to finish up the lower lid before I put a glitter on top. So I'm just going to go into South Beach, which is a shade right there, and run that on my lower lid. And when I'm doing this, I'm just making sure to connect the corners here. And now the moment of truth. I really don't know what color glitter I want to put on top. I'm feeling that I love this like rusty pink look that I have going on. So I don't know, I don't, these glitters all look so bright. I don't really know which one. Oh gosh, okay, I'm scared. Um, I guess we'll do the gold since we have some like light gold reflex in this shimmer shade that I use. I don't know. If you watched my first video, the swatch was really kind of miss with this. I don't know, so we'll see. I'm gonna tap some on my finger there and then I'm gonna just tap it starting, oh, I don't know, should I do a, a halo? Okay, maybe we'll try a halo. I'll just tap it on the middle and then see how it goes. So let's go and do that. Okay, that's kind of pretty, I like that. Oh gosh, okay. I just pressed down too hard and like it pulled everything down. Okay, we'll try again. What I'm gathering with this is you don't wanna swipe, you definitely wanna like press down and then I just want to kind of like ombre the rest of the glitter that I have on my finger without re-dipping. So I'm just going to tap whatever I have left on my finger and then kind of press that down on the edges and then like fade it out. Okay, that's kind of pretty. Let me just show you what I have so far before I try to fix any of it. So that's one eye done. I liked how the gold was able to layer on top. I thought that was really pretty simple. I'm kind of impressed with it and I really like this like pop of gold in the middle that you see when I blink. So I'm pretty intrigued. I think it's nice. I've had very little fallout honestly with the glitter and not a lot on my fingers either. So let me do the other eye off camera and then I'll be back. All right, so this is the completed look. I really actually like the way that the glitter is applied on top. They were really easy to use. You just simply dip your finger, press it on, and almost all of it transferred onto the shadow, leaving a little bit on my finger. I was really impressed. I guess the way when I swatched it for my first video, I went over it once, the color really came up, but then when you try to go back on it, it kind of like picked it back up. So I think the key with these are just to kind of swatch it or press into it once, apply on your finger, like press down and then let go and then try not to move it around after that. 
but I am actually really pleased with the way it turned out. To finish up the look, I just applied the Beautifully Bare Satin Lipstick by e.l.f. This is in the shade Touch of Nude. I actually have been really on this serious like e.l.f. kick. I've been buying a ton of e.l.f. products, so there's definitely another e.l.f. video that is in the future of my channel. So I'm very pleased. I was really on the fence of returning this palette. I'll have to compare it to my James Charles palette because I actually just got it in the mail two days ago. I finally got on the bandwagon, bought the palette, so I'm excited to play around with that. I think I'm gonna have to compare some of the shades and the blues, especially in this palette, since I know the pigment is supposed to be really good in the James Charles palette. So I'll let you all know in a future video if I decide to keep this palette or if I decide to actually end up returning it because I thought the blues were just so sad and disappointing and I was really, really excited about that since that was my first kind of like attempt or exposure to adding color or real pops of color to my collections. I think that now that I have the James Charles palette, it'll be a little bit harder to compete since I don't really wear pops of color that often, but now that I have a palette like the James Charles palette, it's kind of hard to say, oh, I need another palette with a blue or oh I need another palette with like a bright pink you know so I think I'll have to do some thinking I think the true redeeming factor for this palette are the glitter toppers I don't really wear glitters too too often but I think that they are a really nice kind of pop of shine or bling to your lids I am actually in love with the way the light is picking up on these glitters on my lids. To justify a $39 palette for those four glitter toppers it's gonna be really hard I think I'll have to really think about it and think about if I can pick up other glitter toppers or maybe liquid eyeshadows that have glitter or have a glittery base, see if those would be worth it. But for now, I'll definitely have to think about it. Let me know what you think I should do in the comments down below. I would love to hear your opinion on my dilemma. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video and watching me achieve this look. Please don't forget to subscribe, like it, dislike it, do whatever you want to do with the video, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!